Oh, love that. <laughs> what up, guys? It is your boy, Matt, from RamseyBoys.com, and I am so excited that you're here, because if you're here, it means that you're ready for brand spanking new reactions. And today, I'm going to be reacting to a singer that I have never reacted to before. It is, I believe, 14, she is 14 years old. This is Miss Angelina Jordan uh, performing Bohemian Rhapsody live on America's Got Talent, which is kind of funny, because I don't think I've ever reacted to somebody on America's Got Talent before, uh, which is strange because I'm an American vocal coach. But I got, you know, got really, really into the Asian singing competition reaction game. And uh, I could not be happier about that because there's so many good singers. But it's time to bring it back to the home turf for a second and see what Angelina Jordan is up to. Now, before we jump in, I want to give a pre-show shout out to Funny Clouds, who's bringing us our high note today. Funny Clouds said, I love your videos. You're really good at explaining, and I learn a lot. I like to sing, but I'm a bio student, and I have no choice but to be a microbiologist. So I learn a lot from you, and I'm so thankful for that. Well, let me tell you something funny. I studied advertising in school. I did not study music. I'd always played music. I've been playing music since I was like 11 years old, but I did not, that was not my very first career. My first career was not to be a vocal coach. So I believe that if you dedicate your mind and your dreams to it, you can do anything that you want. I believe that you have a great voice inside of you just waiting to be unlocked, which is why I've started this channel in the first place, is to help singers like you become better. So there's nothing that says that you can't be a great singer and a microbiologist. In, case, in fact, I think that you know it's a good thing to keep your day job while you're building up your singing talents and while you're performing. But uh, you know, I want you to know that you can pursue this dream of becoming a singer if you really want to. It's absolutely possible. If I did it, so can you. And I know it's kind of hard to believe that because you look at like singers like, you know, Angelina Jordan. I've never seen her perform before, but I imagine that she's probably excellent. And she's only 14 and you may be 18 or you may be 28 or you may be 38 and 58 and 68. And you think that I'll never be able to sing, but you absolutely will. All you do need to do is practice the right singing techniques and get feedback from a great vocal coach. And that will absolutely help you find that voice that you're looking for. With all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the reaction. But make sure that you watch until the very end because I've got a brand new two-minute tutorial to share with you guys where I break down the technique that the singer is using and we teach it to you. That way you can use it in your own voice. Okay, and this is Angelina Jordan performing Bohemian Rhapsody. Hi, Angelina. Hi. So nice to meet you. You won Norway's Got Talent in 2014. Yes. Oh, she's Norwegian. Cool. Thank you. So tell us, how old were you when you won? I was seven years old. You were seven years seven old. Seven years old. So you are oh my now God. Thirteen. I'm thirteen. Yes. You are thirteen. <laughs> yeah. I've waited ten years to sing for Simon, and I'm finally. <laughs> oh wow! A lot of pressure on Simon. So wow. us three have what nothing to do with what's going on no, today. <laughs> what is it? What is it about Simon? He's just amazing, and he's a legend. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm pretty great. I mean, Simon is responsible for for bringing a whole lot of talent uh, and a whole lot of acts into the into the popular consciousness. So, a lot of respect for him. I don't respect the way that he's so mean to people because that's not a good method for growth. By the time they get here, they're pretty good, though. Of B flat. Too late. My time has come. So she goes down my spine. Body's aching all the time. Goodbye, everybody. So nice and kind of jazzy. And that's the guitar chords, but also her voice with it. Wow. She's got breathy, she's got raspy, both of them together. Ooh. Ooh. I don't wanna die. I sometimes wish I'd never been born at all. 
Now that's a very, very small change right there, but you'll notice that she actually started engaging her chest voice, which is absolutely huge because what I was worried about was that she was going to try to take that breathy thing and try to put it on all her notes and it wouldn't sound good, but that's exactly where she brought it in and I'm so happy for her. It sounds great. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, love that. <laughs> Ended up in the key of E flat there. Wow. Oh my God, that was absolutely amazing. Okay, Angelina, you've got so much good stuff going on. Now, I know exactly what I want to talk about. We're going to take two minutes and we're going to dissect one of the things that Angelina is doing really, really well. Today, guys, we're going to talk about rasp. And specifically, we're going to talk about a breathy rasp. There's a rasp that can come from singing really hard, like, oh, and that's really, really cool. But in this particular case, what Angelina is using is a very, very breathy kind of rasp. Now, here's how you do that. Basically, what we're doing is we're combining two different vocal sounds. We're combining a vocal sound of breathiness, like an ah, uh, with a little bit of a vocal fry, like ah, uh, and you can actually hear that inner mama just killed a man. If you put those two together, you get this nice kind of jazzy mama. And I'm also shaping my mouth in a way that I'm not really opening it too much. Uh, you'll see as she goes through her performance, she's actually keeping her mouth pretty closed. Let me find a good example. So she's going, wind blows, does it really matter? Right? There's not a whole lot of openness going on there. Anyway, the wind blows would be like a, a more correct technique, kind of like what Freddie did. But what she's doing that's so cool is she's keeping her mouth a little bit closed, which makes it sound just a little bit tighter like that. Anyway, the wind blows. You throw that rasp in there together with that little bit of breathiness, and you've got something really cool. Now, the one thing that I want to point out before you go and say this is my sound. I believe that Angelina is putting this on as a vocal effect. Her own speaking voice does not reflect this amount of raspiness. This is a raspiness you would hear in someone that's been smoking cigarettes for 20 years. However, that is not Angelina's case. In her case, she's found a sound that's really, really popular, gotten her a lot of attention, and she's continuing to use it. However, she also knows when to use good vocal technique. Like I pointed out when she started using more of her chest voice as she was singing stronger into that second part, into, into the B part of this performance, she started to sing with more of that chest voice. Um, this is a really good example of it. When she goes, I sometimes wish I'd never. Very breathy there. Chest voice. And you'll notice that none of that rasp comes back until she goes, I sometimes wish I'd never been born at all. You see what she did there? She knows exactly when she needs to use the right technique. So just using a vocal effect like this is absolutely amazing, but do not let it take the place of good vocal technique. In other words, don't put the cart before the horse. Guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, ring the bell, and I will catch you next time.